Hi everybody and welcome back to my basement. Today I finally got my fourth or third replacement laser. I don't remember even how many of these I burned trying this. In fact, probably this is one of my most expensive projects so far. And this laser is super powerful. 10 watt means you can start etching stuff, like you can write on maybe your phone cover and stuff like that. But also with this power you can start cutting wood, like thin wood, don't expect it will cut that much, but it's really, really powerful. What I wanna do for this one project, and this is going on since November, so guess how many laser I've burned. I wanna strip the laser down, of course, like we gotta strip down everything, put it under a drone, a small drone, like I wanted to put it on a um, 85X, but I only have one, and that's the Dyson Mini, I don't wanna tear that apart, so I'm gonna use this dummy drone and have a drone that fires laser and you can actually destroy stuff like balloons or maybe other targets, this laser can pop them because it's so, so powerful. And that's crazy, I can't wait to try it. And I reached a really good stage of this project, but then the laser burned and so I maybe learned from my lessons and this time it will not. So, before we begin, please subscribe to this channel and comment, watch the videos, because these things are getting so expensive, you will help me a lot. This is a small channel for now, but I want to do project, much, much bigger project, and I need your support. So, thank you so much. Another thing, like, this is a stupid project, like, it's not putting cameras on drones and go doing shots. This thing can blind you, so laser goggles and yeah this is a these are the cheap ones but they work i tested them i will not teach you like step by step because i don't want like kids buying this laser and, uh, and go shoot stuff like it's not safe and for people saying that i'm ruining the hobby doing this like people that want to do harm do harm i'm just trying to have fun i'm in the country there is i will not fly with this in the city i will not shoot people so it's safe. Please don't be morons. <laughs> and for those people who want to do bad stuff with this stuff, like don't take inspiration. And if you do bad stuff, I'm going to come and bash you on the head with a rolling pin. <laughs> don't even try and always use common sense, pe people. Don't be morons. So, let's begin. And so, this is my dummy drone. <laughs> I call this dummy drone because this was a Dyson Mini, Dyson X, something like that, that didn't see the light of the day, it was too heavy. As you can see, I've already done a board up here, and this board is meant like, this is the laser, okay? This thing will get naked, and I already have some pieces of my old laser, there was a way to put it. And then we have a relay that goes at the back, like this, and the relay feeds turns on the power to the laser and the laser fires. And this is the laser mounting solution, like I will put it below with the camera pointed straight. The first thing we need to do is tear down the laser. And this laser is really cool because this is meant to be put on a um, CNC router, like you can intake, of course, 12 volt ground and then PWM, so you can control the power of your laser. And also it has a button for manual activation. Let's tear it apart. And now it's gonna get messy once you remove the screws. <laughs> Look at this hardware explosion. Okay, I'm losing basically everything. It will never go back like it was. You can see there is the control board for the laser and a fan. The fan will be removed because, hey, it's on a drone. It has four of them and <laughs> it doesn't need probably. And also you can see it goes inside. Now. To release the diode, like this, there are two screws. And this, this is one of those lucky lasers that doesn't have glue on it. It only has screws, so you can just... <laughs> of course it has the hardest screws ever. This is the first screw, and this is the second one. It was jammed in there, like I couldn't remove it with any tool, like I stripped all of my tools, the, the, the screws are made of uh, stainless steel and they're super hard to, to work with. And now it comes out and look how tiny it is. I hope the vibration didn't break the module inside because then I will start crying, I guess. 
but <laughs> that's it let's see if it works turns on we press the button boom it shoots let me grab this piece of uh, 3d printed stuff put it here boom straight through look at this Perfect, the relay is connected and everything is wired up. Okay, the circuit is completed and when I press the button, boom, it fires. And now I have no laser attached because I didn't want to burn for the test. Let's put it on together and let's see if it actually works. I will be amazed if it works. And after a lot of trial and error, the laser drone is ready. This is the laser down here, I added a camera with the mount, and this is a small 3D printed mount that goes on it. It's really, really flexible. And also I changed the motors because I was using these Brother Hobby Tornadoes and they were like 20 grams each. While these 1404 motors from Beta FPV are amazing actually. They are like 10 grams. And my flight time actually went from like two minutes and a half to probably more than seven minutes on these motors. That's crazy with this battery. Look how tiny it is. And also the weight is like 180 gram. So this is legal to use in the cities, <laughs> which, you know, is not ideal to use this in the city, but <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't. And now with these motors it's really really stable and it can pop balloons. Still it's not super easy like you have to be really really steady with the drone and with the controls actually to pop balloons. If you go fast it doesn't do it but we can work with that. So let's go and pop some balloons with this thing. It's really really fun. So I set up the course there is the balloons. One, two, Three, four, I don't remember where they are, five, six, seven with the camera that records it and now you're wondering where is the last one? Well, check the video. So, the initial testing went amazing and actually I proved that it is possible to pop balloons with a drone shooting lasers and that's something already. But as I suspected, the best balloons are greens and maybe uh, red ones. Actually, the colder colored ones like blue, violet, pink and 
Also the semi-translucent like orange and yellow don't really work amazingly with the laser because a lot of the radiation doesn't get absorbed so it takes more time but when you have a drone moving in the air more time means no popping but we want to for the drone to pop the balloons so for a dedicated video about setting up a course and having balloons I'm gonna go to a supply shop get big green balloons and fill them with whatever I find interesting and and then we'll see some uh, some show as always stay safe and happy lazing <laughs> bye